Hello, hello. We are back. We had a little bit of a crash there. Um, so it is currently 6.32 a.m. Same day as the last one. And we're still in the same dungeon. Now, I don't know how long ago it dropped me out. But I do have that issue sometimes. It happens very rarely. Usually it's when I fuck with the controller that the headset is plugged in, which is then plugged into the laptop, and then it's like a certain amount of time, and then it forgets that it exists. Anyway, what I was saying uh, was the DLC is going to be coming out June 21st, right? Now, with the DLC coming out June 21st, depending on if I'm working or, or what's going on, I may not... Um, be playing it the first week. I mean, I probably won't be playing it the first week. Um, for a number of reasons. Um, one of which is I don't really want to spoil it for anybody. Um, I know this isn't the ladder, but this is the ladder I'm going to use for this moment. Um... I don't really want to spoil it for anybody. Now, if I'm working, I'm working, and that's it just is what it is. Um, but if I'm not working, I probably won't play it the first week either, just purely because I don't really want to spoil it. Now, I have thought of an alternative. I have thought of a way around it. Because I know everybody's going to be very excited to jump into the DLC as soon as it comes out and all that sort of thing. But I had the idea of... basically to be playing a new game plus playthrough working my way towards the DLC which means I aim to finish playing with this character as soon as I sort of can be I guess climb you idiot Okay, I think we're I think we're home free. Um, but yeah, basically we're playing like a new game plus with this character, and then there is the chance that the DLC also adds things to the overworld, or that the game's been patched since then, or you know various other things that um, we may come across as far as new game plus is concerned. Even if we hadn't. Like, you know what I mean? Um, because they might have added stuff to the game prior. To the DLC, the actual, like, to getting into McCalla's dream or whatever the fuck it is. So. Like, I don't need, I don't... I don't plan on pressing go to New Game Plus and then not playing. Um, I will leave it prior to going into New Game Plus. But I will be um, basically at the point where I've done pretty much everything I want to do for this character and then sitting on just before New Game Plus. Because if they don't add a bunch of stuff to not the DLC like do you know what I mean like the way they've got Jarberg and how they added like a thing for Jarberg or they added like the fucking Colosseums or things like that they might add things to the world on top of the DLC and if it is a bit then it might be worth playing again if not then I'll keep it in the same new game state I won't go to new game plus and I can just go straight to the DLC. Again, this depends if I'm working. If I'm not working, I might just start a new game plus and just play towards the DLC for that first week. It really depends on the situation. But it all boils down to I'm not going to be playing it on the day of release. How much do I need? I need... I'm going to say... 600, because it's not 500. Um, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6,000... 46,600. 
What are you worth? 20. 30, 40. Yeah, we can do that. You have no, cho no choice but to work your way up to the DLC. I mean, look, you can always get started now. Depending on how much you want to jump into the DLC day one, or if you want to grind to it and have certain things possibly spoiled for you on social media. It really depends. And then... Here's our 6,600. That should push us just over the line by like... 90 something. We have 90 something runes left. 30 dexterity. Beautiful. I'll probably put this VOD up the same day as the one that the audio cut out on because the last one was relatively short. And then this one can just be like a part two, which means this one will probably be relatively short too before I stop it and start it again. Um, I don't know, I don't really know how else to fix it because I have such a, a convoluted setup to be able to have everything run, which I really should just, should just find, like do it the proper way and get the right cables and stuff for it. You're relatively short. Surprisingly, no. No. I am just six foot. Like, just. I remember going to get my license and they measured me against the wall and I was like, how tall am I? And they're like, just six foot. I'm like, ah, that's good. And she's like, no, but like, just. I'm like, oh, okay. So, I mean, maybe she was being kind and I'm just under six foot, but I've always been run by the I'm just over six foot and never, never really bothered to double check it. And I have a 20 inch cock. No, I'm kidding. I was, I was just, I know that somebody out there was waiting for me to mention a penis joke, but like... That would be beneath me. You're 5'8", never really cared? Yeah, I don't really care. That's what I mean. Like, if I cared enough that it mattered to me, I would have double checked. But it was more like the first time I found out was when I went to go and get my learner's permit at fucking 22. <laughs> no, no, not 16 when we could get them. Like 22. Oh, no, it was probably 21, 22, something like that anyway. Um... And the only reason I bothered to go and get it is because Albatross was going to get hers and was like, dude, like, I've put getting mine off. Oh, I've put off getting mine. Like, you need to get one. Just go get it. I'm like, yeah, okay. So I did the fucking learner's test and they gave me the learner's permit and then it just expired. But thank you for letting me know my audio cut out. I do appreciate it, Saint. Now, here's the here's the talk. The talk that um I haven't been avoiding, I've been mulling it over. I've been mulling it over in my head. I wanted to ask you guys, and I'll probably ask this a few times in, in the next I don't know, four or five streams. What am I going to play next? Because I have a whole bunch of options. But it's like... I don't know if I want to do... another... like, third player... medieval-style action-adventure in the sense of playing Witcher 3. Or if I want to take a break from that and maybe do Cyberpunk, finally. Or maybe I'll do Hitman. Um, there's a bunch of different things. I mean, I could go and do uh, Phoenix Rising. Um, I could go and do Atomic Heart. 
I could go and do Shovel Knight. I've still got Shovel Knight sitting there that I've wanted to play through and I never did. Atomic Heart, Guardians of the Galaxy, Robocop, Chernobylite for a weird one. Chernobylite actually looks really cool. I really like Chernobylite. I really like the idea of Chernobylite. It looks awesome. Ooh, what's up in here? Oh, this is where the troll and shit is. Well, let's kill these little guys real quick. The troll I'm not feeling the greatest about. It's Russian Fallout. I mean, that's... That's more... Um, Metro. Right? Read this without aggro on him. The war against the giants. Champions battle. Trolls betray. Fire vanquish. The era of the Erd Tree begins. Right, so the trolls were on the side of the giants and then they were like, nah. Actually, Atomic Harp gave off very heavy Fallout vibes too sometimes. I really just mean because the crafting system's in both. Right, right. Because I heard that Atomic Heart was closer to Bioshock than it was Fallout. Um, I mean, obviously there's going to be certain similarities between all of them. But like... Um, Out of mana. What did you drop? <laughs> Arteria leaf. Hell yeah. Love it. Good shit. Love it. Love a good bit of Arteria leaf. Ugh. It's down below me. Is that too high? No. Anything down here? Nope. Nada. Okay, we just pissed off a couple of little hands. So now the path up, I'm just going to go all the way back up this way and then right. And there's so many enemies that have come back now. <laughs> this is... Oh yeah, it is the way. A little ledge around here. The little cheeky cheeky. Little hands, little hands everywhere. There's a big one, there's big hands. I'm just gonna book it this way. No, oh, thank you. What are you? Are you one of those fucking birds from Yep? Certainly is. Run! Why do they give me all the shit enemies all together? They still follow me? Fucking oath they are. Out my beast torch. Oh, the birds don't like the hands. Ah, oh, and the trolls don't like the birds. Good to know. But the trolls kind of look like they fuck up. Oh, the birds kind of look like they fuck up the trolls. Maybe it's not the best. 
Whoa, never mind. Get him. Fuck him up. Yes. Wish we had a slightly better view for this. Oh, second bird's into the fray. Oh, they're kicking the fuck out of each other. Hey, first bird's down. Come on, troll. You got this. Get him. Clash of the Titans. Oh, that didn't deal as much damage as I thought it would. Hey, is this bird tankier than the other one? Because he's not taking anywhere near as much damage. I feel like they're getting a bit too close. Fuck him up. No. You staggered my boy. Oh, he's bringing out the sword. You're in big trouble now. Why is that bird so fucking tanky? That's insane. The last bird was like well and truly dead already. There we go. Give you a hand, Mr. Troll. Yes. Oh, is he gonna? Is he gonna do a top rope jump? Do it. Yes! Smash! Oh. WWE at home? Yeah, basically. Yes! Kill the bird. Excellent. Now kill the troll. Uh oh. Oh. Luckily, it only hit Torrent in the butt. Okay. There's still one bird up there, but I've got my um I got my torch out, so we should be good. It's weird that I never really pointed out that Liza P is finally the souls like I wanted, with a world that's in the process of being saved and has a sense of hope rather than the long gone depressing atmosphere of the Souls games that never go away. Um I found Liza P quite depressing. Like, Liza P was very much a everybody's dead. Um, I don't know. It, Souls has always had this very bleakness about it. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just how games are 10 years later. But I know what you mean. The other bird's up there. Oh, there's a dog up here too? A fucking... Bunch of, like, sploring. Okay, so there could be shit over here. Right. That's our number one. And then... We got, like, other points of interest that could be up the hill. We got a couple of dead birds, which we definitely want to take advantage of the fact that they're gone. Fuck off hands. But the bird and the dog will still stare at us and they will be upset with us. We just need to not get particularly close to them. As long as they don't have red angry eyes. We should be sweet. Oh, big hand as well. Good. Good. You guys should fight each other. That'd be really cool. That'd be so awesome of you. I don't believe there's anything up here. A kneeling giant. I don't like how close he is. Giant butt. Butt of the giants. Uh, I can't really see anything thanks to these fucking danglies. He's pecking a corpse that has an item on it. Um. Oh, the dog just straight up fucked off. He's like, up, oh, can't get you. I'm out of here. It's left. He's still looking at me. Oh, 
Fuck you, puppy. The bird is similar to the dog. The bird will aggro. But we just need to not go close to the bird. What is that? Is that another bird? I can see the shadow. Warming stone. Okay. I really want what that is. And it's probably something shit. And nine times out of ten, it is something shit. But I want it. Bandag is good shit. Love it. Go away, bird! Ah, oh, stupid hands. Oh, bird fighting a troll up here too. More birds fighting trolls? This is a true fucking battle of the end times. Fire slugs, yes. Fire slugs will protect me. Go away, bird. I hate this. Go away. Ow! Go away. Stop following me. You son of bitch. Oh god, that's a sleeping troll. There's so many birds. We got multiple trolls coming in. A battle for the ages once again. Who's going to win? Three birds or two trolls? Place your bets. Ooh, that's a full stagger. Lucky they do like peanuts worth of damage. Fuck them up. To battle. Uh. If one of you could accidentally take down this tree that's between us, that'd be really cool of you. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. Like, they're pecking the fuck out of these trolls, but I really feel like the trolls, is, for the trolls, is just annoyance, you know? Like, they're not dealing a ton of damage. Fuck you, bird. No, not me. Oh, you fucked him up again. Thank you, troll. Yeah, get him. Oh, mate up there is getting double teamed. Might just make my way up this way. We can be up the hill a smidge. Just finish him off. Get him in a choke slam. There we go. Good shit. All right, troll down the hill. Let's fuck the other one up. He should start making his way up here and help old mate against these two birds. Come on, troll. Come up the hill. You're not aggroed anymore. Walk back to your original position, which was up here. That's the way. Come on. Come on, help you, mate. The birds, the birds don't deal a ton of damage to the trolls, but the trolls get staggered really easy. Oh, here we go. He's into it. Yeah, get him. If I get close enough, I can cast a couple of these and piss off everybody, and then they all put aside their differences and come and kill me. Horse. Oh, didn't even hit him. Oh, but they've squared off. You managed to get, get the attention of one of them. Yes. 
a battle of the century. Beautiful tag team event that's gotten out of hand here today on the mountaintop of the Giants. As you can see, it's Team Troll against Team Big Fuck Off Bird. Now, I really do think that Team Troll does take the advantage here. The birds do attack quite quickly and, and do stagger the trolls quite often. However, the trolls, as you know, once they do drop to half health, they will be drawing those swords. And those swords just are really going to just take the edge that any sort of uh, loss to the bird's speed would have would have uh, would have been lost there in the beginning. Now, luckily, because there is uh, two and two. We can really see the differences here. It's uh, it's like running the same fight twice just to see who would win. Now, we do know from the outset that the chance of the trolls winning is probably a good 85 to 90 percent. Because unless the birds start getting really lucky and dealing some pretty big hits here, we are going to see the trolls come from behind and uh, uh, just destroy the fuck out of these big fuck off birds. Which, at the end of the day, is really what we want here up on the mountaintop of the giants. And the birds themselves, being so quick. They do tend to take you off Torrent if they get a hit in. Or hurt Torrent himself, which can also despawn the poor boy. Now the trolls, the trolls do have that ranged roar attack that does one-shot you, which uh, Torrent can't exactly take that hit for you because it does tend to go through enemies. However, the difference there is that the trolls do lose aggro a lot sooner than the birds do. The birds themselves will hunt you to the end of the earth, and they do have that leap attack that they tend to uh, effectively teleport on top of you no matter where you are standing. Now, as you can see here, this bird, because the other pair has uh, drifted off screen, they've uh, moved out of the ring, so to speak. See, this uh, this troll here just knocked the fuck out of that bird with his roar because he got a little bit too far away. The bird being downhill... What is up here? Oh, we have a third pairing up the hill here. There is a, uh, a true battle of the ages, which I thought these two had stopped fighting already, but they certainly didn't. Uh, now, coming down the hill here, we can see something is on quite low health down the hill there, but I do believe it is the second bird. Now, that bird did come into the arena today as they were double-teaming one of the trolls here, but, of course, with a minor amount of interference, we did take out the third bird just to make it nice and fair for us. Now, you can see that the trolls both have quite a high amount of health left, which means our low health uh, question mark there was that bird, and as you can see, he's quite low. Now, when these two birds are done for, we are going to see the trolls walk back up here and try and turn us into a fine paste on the snow. But if we do anything uh, carefully or intelligently, and that's going to be to get on torrent and leave, because the trolls, once they lose the aggro of the birds themselves, they are going to be slowly making their way back up. So we have plenty of time to leave after the fight's over. Now, we could step in and damage this bird here if we wanted to, but I do kind of want to see the two trolls make a bit of a mess of him. But it looks as though the bird is getting pushed quite a way down the hill. The trolls might not aggro. He might. He is slowly walking back. Oh, nope. He has gotten upset there at the, uh, at the damage that his companion is taking, so they are now going to double-team the bird. Now, we do need to be careful, as you saw that roar attack there that that troll got off. We can take some collateral damage, and the last thing that we want at this point in the game is to be killed by accident. Now, I'm not too sure what the troll's doing over there. It looks like he has taken the aggro of what could possibly be another bird from the looks of it. Oh, no, it is uh, it is one of the Tyrannosaurus dogs. Uh, so it looks as though they're quite upset with anything that looks... Uh, malformed or, or giant in any way. Now, I'm not too sure why these Caled enemies are here up in the mountaintops in the snow, but we can, uh, I suppose, take solace in the fact that the trolls are going to beat the fuck out of them no matter what's going on. As you can see, the bird has knocked the troll down again, but the bird is getting fucking destroyed. Now, we could finish this up here a little bit quicker. Because it looks as though the other troll aggroed on the dogs from quite far away, we could finish the bird off quickly and then hope that the troll goes and helps his friend in the fight there. If he decides to slowly walk his way back up, then so be it, but he may head down towards the dogs, and it does look as though the troll quite possibly is the one that is taking the heat of the damage there. No, it is a second dog. There are two dogs down there. Now, this troll doesn't know what the fuck's going on. He seems to have broken his brain. 
which does leave our last troll here by himself against the two dogs, but it looks as though he's faring quite well. We don't have our best camera angle here at the moment. And it looks as though this troll has completely lost aggro and doesn't look like he wants to go and help his compatriot there. And because he's fallen off the edge, he doesn't have a direct walking line back, so he's just going to take a little rest there down in the corner. And we can expect that this troll is going to, as you can see there, put an end to the dogs. And that is after he was already weak against the bird. Now, they did definitely deal enough damage to him so that he would uh, take his sword out there, drop him below half health. But both dogs are now dead, so the trolls are going to be making their way back up the hill. Then we're going to turn around and head back up here and uh, shift our attention to the two that were fighting just up the hill here. Hopefully they won't be causing us any dramas on the path up. We will just be a bit careful on the way. Why? Why you invade me? Why? Don't do that. I hate it. Where are you coming from? Bloody finger Akina. Okay. Where from? Where are you? Oh, you're right here. Okay, hi. Hello. I'm gonna need you. He just dodged. He just dodged the night spell. Dead Samurai Man. Ooh, Rivers of Blood. I've heard of that one. That's the katana that everybody hates. Because it's broken. Anyway, as we were doing, these two are still up here fighting, unless this is a new two. This actually might be a new two because these guys have full health. There's a church. If there's a church, there might be a side of grace, and there is. Church of Repose. Beautiful. And a sacred tear. Okay, so where are we now? We're here. There's another little bridge here. Looks like there's like a ramp. We came all the way up here and we went this way around the rocks. It looks like we can cut across here. Get into this area. We'll go around the back of this rock. Maybe we should wait until daytime. Ah, bird. Ooh, what's in his mouth? Ancient dragon smithing stone. Love it. Fucking birds. Go away. Fuck off. Alright. Well, because this should be the same day, actually. Hold on, flasks. What do we got? Increase amount replenished by flasks. Yeah, that's a joke at this point. Um, because this should be out the same day as the last chapter, because the last chapter lost audio right towards the end there. Um, that brings us to the end of today's episode. Um, so if you're watching this 10 years from now, tomorrow, a week, next Thursday, I don't know, uh, you're awesome. And I'm sure you'll hear from me again. I will talk to you soon. See ya.